blessings, Sunday blessings, and Sunday blessings. Hello everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful and absolutely blessed Sunday. You know what time it is. It is time for the Sunday blessing. Let's get right into it. Today's Sunday Sermon Notes, the title of it is Grace for Gethsemane. Grace for Gethsemane. And Gethsemane um, was a time of pressing and squeezing. That's what Gethsemane meant. An uncomfortable place where pressure was too great. Jesus was in the place of Gethsemane, literally sweating blood, asking that God would take it away. But nevertheless, God's will be done. So Jesus was getting ready to lay his life down for us. And he was at that place of Gethsemane. And he was praying to God, literally sweating blood, asking that God would take it away from him. But nevertheless, God's will be done. A place of pressing. A place of pressing. Jesus was pressed and in Gethsemane. It was right before the resurrection. Suffering leads to resurrection. You can't have a resurrection without suffering. You have to pass the test. Don't get stuck in Gethsemane though. Keep pressing on and keep your faith. Jesus prayed a third time and angels came and strengthened him. They gave him a supernatural strength to keep going. So keep praying and God will send you angels to help you so that you will have the strength to keep going. Suffering is actually a setup. It means if you make it through your suffering, your breakthrough is right behind it. Don't be bitter because Gethsemane is necessary. There are seasons of Gethsemane, like people betraying you, illness, grief, losing jobs, no money, alone. But God's grace is sufficient even in a bad season. You can still keep your faith and even smile and be good to others. Even when you can't pray the bad situation away, God's grace will be sufficient and God will send angels to strengthen you. Even when Jesus came back from praying, the disciples were asleep. Each time Jesus came back from praying, the disciples were still asleep. Don't depend on anyone except God. Don't depend on anyone except God. God is on the throne and he will see you through your Gethsemane. Even if things don't work out like you want it to, God is still going to order your steps and you will be able to stand in any situation that you are dealing with. God's grace will be sufficient for you. God will see you through your Gethsemane. You can't get to your destiny, destiny without passing through Gethsemane. You can't get to your destiny without passing through Gethsemane. And Jesus, our Lord and Savior, did it himself and showed us himself. So we know that this is possible. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Powerful blessings coming. So if you're going through a Gethsemane right now, you know someone that is, share this message out. Grace for Gethsemane, and you're going to make it. Be blessed and have a wonderful, blessed day and upcoming week. Grace for Gethsemane. God loves you. Be blessed.